That's just hey a screen guys. demo, right? Uh, we're Team Yonder. We decided to tackle an Earth problem, uh, specifically the one that has to do with pastoral communities. If you're not familiar with pastoral communities, think migratory farmers. These are people who move from place to place, sometimes with a herd of animals searching for their next source of water or grasslands. These people thrive on mobility. They're literally always looking for greener pastures. Uh, so we wanted to build something that utilized data to help this population. Uh, smartphone usage in developing countries on the rise, growing 16% from 2013 to 2015. However, even if these people have smartphones, they're generally not in an area that has great uh, data service. So we wanted to come up with a few different solutions for people with different amounts of access. And uh, we built three things. We built a web app, a mobile app, and a text-based service. And all of our solutions were deliberately lo-fi because of the likelihood of those slow internet connections. So here is our web app. Uh, like Steven said, it's uh, intentionally lo-fi, so it's just a single page app. Um, and what it's essentially doing is you click on if you want to find a water source, if you want your weather, or any weather alerts, um, we can click on one of those, so let's check it out. Um, we're getting the, weather, the water data from the Water Point Data API, and this shows us our closest water source. I uh, forgot to mention, we're using a uh, source, uh, we're using a location in Tanzania uh, that's just R coded in. Um, so the nearest water source to that location is 0.22 miles away. We can see more sources and what kind of sources they are. And we can find the weather, which is provided by the uh, Weather Underground API. Current weather and any alerts. There are no severe weather alerts, luckily. Uh, if there were, we, we would get information about any severe weather alerts, hurricanes, things like that. Uh, so again, simple. Um, so now, what if we wanted to reach people that didn't have data? Let's check that out. We're just gonna plug in the phone so we can kind of follow along today. Uh, and I'll brief you basically on uh, what Twilio is going to do for us here. So uh, the, the idea behind incorporating Twilio was to accommodate uh, people that didn't necessarily have extensive data or um, even access to a smartphone. <clears throat> so by including uh, your GPS coordinates, the Twilio Messenger will return both uh, local weather and water-related information for the user. Uh, so either follow along with this number. Uh, 678-841-8305, or uh, you could just listen as I describe how it works. Um, so, you're already on top of it, cool. Uh, so, basically if we go ahead and put in some of those coordinates, so let's try water, negative uh, 2.51 and 32 point, once again, he's already on top of it. <laughs> um, we'll get some information back after Miguel sends this in. Uh, there's your closest water source. Now let's give it a go for weather as well. Uh, so E weather, and then negative 2.51. Yeah, same as before. And 32.69. And this will also give us a weather report based off where we're at. Um, and there we go, and it'll return it for us. Anybody else? Okay. Okay, just lastly. All right, lastly, just to touch on the mobile app experience, uh, one thing we want to do is make this um, super accessible to everybody, anybody, people um, who, um, across languages, um, and then people um, also that can uh, read or write. So we wanted to use uh, symbols in, this, in the mobile application. Basically, this is water. This is one thing we were able to build out. Uh, we want to add things like grasslands, um, other information, but this is uh, this is what we were able to get to. So, okay, so thanks. Well, as you can see.
Is there any way for people to find out what the last year's longitude is by text? Uh, but we just have to know that one off the top of the head. <coughs> okay, so that was that was uh, the biggest issue. I guess what we wanted to do ultimately was you were going to be able to just text water, and it would somehow determine uh, your your location. Uh, there are some ways to get around that. We found a website that will do it, but it'll it'll charge your phone. So we were looking. I'm sure if we continue, we can figure it out. But another thing is. Uh, as long as you have like some kind of GPS, and a lot of phones do, um, you don't really need data for that. So you, you, you might be able to find a way to, to get your GPS coordinates from that. But other than that, yeah, that was one of the challenges that we had. Thanks, guys. Any more? Cool. Awesome. Next. Up.